in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you are well. It is Friday, the 17th day of May, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2024. Our gospel passage is taken from John chapter 21, verses 15 to 19. The disciples now claim to understand exactly what Jesus is talking about, although it is doubtful that they really do. It will not be until later on that the full meaning of Jesus' words will be grasped by them. But they are impressed that Jesus can answer their questions even before they are formulated. Now we know that you know all things and do not need to have anyone question you. By this, we believe that you came from God. This is in chapter 16, verse 30. Yet, perhaps they are speaking too soon. Jesus questions the depth of their belief. Very soon, in spite of their protestations now, they will be scattered in all directions and leave Jesus alone and abandoned. Of course, Jesus will not be alone. The Father is always with him, even at the lowest depth of his humiliation. Even when he himself will cry out in Matthew 27 verse 46 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He tells them all this not to discourage them but so that they can find peace. There will be many troubles facing them in the coming days and indeed in the years ahead. They are not to worry. Jesus has conquered the world, not in any political or economic sense, but in overcoming the evil of the world. His disciples can share in that victory as long as they stay close to him and walk his way. These words obviously have meaning for us, especially if we are experiencing difficulties of any kind in our lives. The peace we seek is available if we put ourselves into Jesus' hands. He knows he has been through more than anything we are ever likely to have to experience. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me another morning of Friday to rise and seek your face. Dear Lord, you are wonderful and I love spending time with you. You are the reason my life is as good as it is. I realize that today there are many directions I can go with, the choices that I make, but I want to follow your path for my life. I seek your face and desire your will for my life. Please help me to recognize your guidance and leadership, even in the smallest detail. I ask you for wisdom today 
to know how I should respond in every situation I encounter. Thank you for your protection as I go about my day. I want to bless others as you have blessed me, and I will look for those special moments where I can let your love in my heart pour out into someone else's life. By spending this time with you this morning and the rest of the day, I know that you are helping me stay on course throughout this day and giving you glory all along the way. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Friday.